Illegal dumping has become a serious problem in the 45th Legislative District of Baltimore City. Last November, Patty McDowell, a neighbor resident, caught three individuals illegal dumping unwanted trash and debris in Hiram Run Park. I was driving across Parkside with my husband, not even doing park-related stuff, and I always look down this path to see if there are deer, because sometimes there are, and instead of a deer, there was a large blue pickup truck. I'm like, stop the car! Patty McDowd has been a resident in the Arcadia community for 20 years. McDowd works part-time as a coordinator for Friends of Hiram Run Park and for the Natural History Society of Merlin. They didn't realize it wasn't a dump, they just thought it was the woods. It was, they didn't know it was a park, they just thought it was a place to dump. So um, it just infuriated me, it just absolutely infuriated no, they, they had no concern that people use this park on a daily basis, that people volunteer to clean up the park. Um, so I was at, I absolutely did not know what to do and I real time Facebooked it and I somehow Corey heard about it and hooked us up with Harbell and, and Officer Wall. Heron Run Park makes up 375 acres of land and extends 2.3 miles. The park contains three playgrounds, a half basketball court, picnic space, and a hiking trail for pedestrians. It just brings everybody's spirits down. I mean, it, in a park where you come because it's a getaway from your neighborhood, it's a getaway from uh, your hot house, and you come down to the park and all you find are trash and, and a, a dumped furniture, it just makes everybody feel like the situation is futile. Code enforcement within Baltimore City Housing expedited the matter and charges were brought against the dumpers. Well, I learned that day that housing is the person that the place to call for dumping uh, I did learn that the police don't necessarily have a protocol for when somebody is caught in city city parks dumping um, and perseverance I really learned you've just got to persevere I mean I, other people had walked by this group dumping and didn't do anything about it um, we found that out later and that just can't happen if you see somebody dumping you have got to report it McDowell partakes in arranging massive cleanups twice a year at Hern Run Park. I really love it. I'm really honored to live near it. Uh, I, every day I'm surprised by its beauty. It is a cool place to go in the summer. It's a beautiful place to go in the winter. And the older I get, the more important nature is to me. Due to activism of Patty McDowell, awareness of illegal dumping is alerted to the public and authorities will receive enforcement training to appropriately handle dumping incidents. Please don't do it. There are other options. Um, there are probably a number of nonprofits that will work with you to gather volunteers to clean up your area. There, there might even be people who will take your refuse for free. You can go to the dump for free. You, there are so many other options. I understand everybody doesn't have a car. That's fine, but there is curbside pickup, there's bulk trash pickup. There's just really no reason at all to leave your stuff on the side of the road for other people to have to clean up.